The Gauteng Education Department has appointed Rangata attorneys to investigate the suicide of Kethlegile primary school pupils Busisumbata. The 12-year-old hanged himself last week, allegedly after being bullied for being gay. Uh, our reporter, Tlonim Timkulu, joins us now for more on this story. So, Tlonim, uh, just first of all, how long do we expect that this investigation will go on for before we see a report? Yeah, Masoko. So uh, the MEC for Education, Madume Chilwane, met with the media today, with the school governing body and the school itself, as well as with the family of Sibusi Sombata this morning. And they have appointed Rangata attorneys, as you said. The investigation is meant to take five days to complete. So today was just an introduction for everyone to kind of get to know each other, to, to see what is happening, and just to sort of iron out the terms of reference of the, the investigation and what nature the investigation will take and the uh, law firm that has been appointed did say that they know they have been given five days to complete this and for them that they also want they can't say whether they'll need that extension but because of the nature of what has been made and we have to say that Sibusi so before his passing sent a message to his mom where he said that this particular teacher is making comments about me and I'm going to end my life because of the bullying I am facing from him so there were the fam from the family's understanding at least clear that uh, this is a uh, homophobia and these are allegations of homophobia labeled against the teacher from him. The department to say last week initially when this was all kind of coming out had initially said they would do an internal investigation to find out what had happened but after hearing all of this from the family they then decided that maybe an independent law firm a neutral party should come in should investigate and then should give them back a report so that they can decide the way forward and decide what happens and so Rangata is meant to attorneys is meant to uh, give them this report at the end hopefully of the five day period or next week sometime and then there will be recommendations for what happens uh, moving forward not just with this family but just uh, going forward in terms of anything that comes up against uh, bullying against specifically even bullying uh, based on a uh, learner's sexual orientation but let's hear from the attorneys themselves in terms of how they map out the next five days we are given a, a five days at this point in time, it's difficult to say we'll seek extension, but you can't say I will not seek or I will, but we want to keep to this five-day process. Why? Because this is an issue that touches everybody. It's not only this community, it's not only the brand GDE, but it's the whole country where learners are placed in a school, in a school which is a place of safety, and there's an allegation that something happened. So we want to provide answers so that there's no speculation, so that there are no stories that are competing in the media and in the communities. So basically that's what was going to happen. And the, once the report has been received, it will then follow the process of being processed by the department. Uh, so, Tony, last week when you spoke to the Mbata family, they were not very happy with uh, the Gauteng Education Department saying they find out everything through us, etc. How are things today? Have tensions eased? Yeah, so this is the thing that, you know, they were saying that we didn't know. And when we actually approached uh, the department, it seemed the department hadn't yet known what had happened or the matter hadn't been reported to them yet from the school. Mm -hmm. But the school had actually gone to the family. The SGP had gone to the family on the Tuesday following Sibu Siso's uh, passing and they had gone to speak to the family. The uh, teacher who had made these alleged comments, who had allegedly made these comments to Sibu Siso, was at the family's house and said, yes, I did make these comments, but it was like hearted it was banter he didn't think it would be uh, so serious and it would be taken the way that it had so they weren't happy with that for one they weren't happy with the fact that as you said the department had issued a statement a media statement they saw the statement on social media when we approached the family we told them that there was an investigation they didn't know all of this that there was going to be psychosocial support offered they didn't know all of this so you know there were lots of these things that they were not happy about the department did come on board with the family. The MEC did come to the family on the Thursday and spoke to the family. And some of those issues were ironed out. Some promises were made to the family. This is what the uncle told us today, that there were promises made to the family about the assistance that the department is going to offer. But some of that hasn't been fulfilled. So on the one hand, there is some relief that this process is going on, that what has happened to Sibusiso is being taken seriously. Because last week, actually, Masako, they were saying, we just want to be heard. That's all. 
whatever happens after this, you just want to be heard and you know this thing not be dismissed. So on the one hand, they are now being heard and they are relieved because of that and this process that is ongoing. But there is also the fact that there have been promises that have been made and the uncle in particular was saying, you know, I'm still not happy. And just to add myself as well, the teacher has been removed from the school pending this investigation. And that was a big point also last week with the family that what's going to happen with this teacher, we want him suspended. He hasn't been suspended, but he has been removed. So that was a relief to them. There were questions about the nature of this investigation. But let's hear from the uncle of Susie. So just in terms of how happy he is in particular or not happy he is in particular about what has unfolded. I'm not happy with the department because they promised us a lot of things. They say they're going to help us with the paper real and everything, but they, they didn't do a lot of things. They only gave us food as a family. So everything they got, we did, we did on our own. So even now, I don't have trust in them. I don't believe that they're going to help us with anything. Because as a person, you have, you have to prove yourself at the first time. So if they didn't prove themselves at the beginning, now how can we trust them? We don't have trust as a family, and we are not happy. So I don't want like, to make them happy, whereas we are not happy. Mm -hmm. So I'm not happy, and I don't believe in anything. So we have to see what they're going to do now. Mm -hmm. yes. That's what I wanted to say. Mm, very sad story, Shoni, and huge allegations against that teacher, especially in particular. Tim Timkulu, our reporter on that story.